Yeah, it's very moody. <laughs> okay, so I've seen a few videos on the Yukon Photon RT. An updated version of the Yukon Photon XT, a day and night vision scope. Now the XT I do own, the 6.5 version, and that's fitted with a doubler, which takes the magnification up to 12 fixed magnification so i've seen a few glowing reviews of the yukon rt nothing really negative about the unit but from what i've found from playing about with the rt it's not all great slight niggles i have with the unit which we'll shall cover in the video so in this video is it worth the upgrade from the xt to the rt is it a costly worthless upgrade also, if you're new to the photons, which unit, the XT or RT, could be for you. So it's not a, an in-depth review of the RT. I am just trying to fill the gap with this video. Now, there's countless RT videos on YouTube praising the RT, but not really pointing out the slight differences between both models. The RT, on certain functions, loses out to its older brother, the XT. So, no, is not sometimes better. But before we start looking at the pluses and minuses while taking a look at both of the Yukon Photons, I will say this, for a scoped day and night vision unit, and at this price point, vary from 400 to 600 pounds, I think you just can't buy better. It's an affordable digital night vision setup, and I do rate them highly, but that's not to say it's perfect. There will be a comparison hunting shots of both the XT and RT as well. So, okay, here goes the old XT 6.5 model onboard IR runs on two batteries. And the new Photon RT 6.5 model with the digital zone. Go from 6 mag to 12 mag and runs on big ass batteries. That's four. Recordable, can live stream if you would dare to. Uh, the RT being a more compact unit, we've got the on off button. And the controller button, it used to be on the side, and now it's situated on the top. And the IR light on board, and the record function is situated at the back of the IR. You know, onboard microphone, works very well, and the battery compartment. Now, like the XT, the RT's big on battery drain. RT runs on four batteries, estimated runtime, three hours, give or take. Now, on my first outing with the RT, I was playing about with the contrast and IR modes. I soon ran into problems, like the XT, using conventional batteries. The RT soon drained my batteries. I managed about an hour and a half. The RT was constantly on at the time. It just sucked the life out of my batteries. So if you're choosing the RT, do consider the added cost of investing in these. Now priced at £71, the Pulsar DMV 2 battery pack are a godsend for the RT user. You get two in a pack, each battery gives a runtime of roughly four hours. Now these are vital if you're planning on an all-nighter with the RT. Very rarely I needed to use the second battery, but I've both fully charged, one in the RT, the other in your pocket. You'll be good to go. Invaluable for the RT user. Here's the comparison shots. XT fitted with the with the slip-on doubler. And uh, it basically slips on with an adapter. And we've got the RT on the right with its 12 times mag zoom capability. Now the XT I think beats the RT in picture quality. Sharp, crisp, sight image on the XT with the doubler fitted. Okay, it's a fixed 12 time magnification zoom. Whereas the RT zoom is adjustable. Now with the RT, a few clicks on the main controller button takes the mag zoom from six times to 12 times magnification. Now the downside to the RT's 12 mag zoom is the picture slightly does pixelate. Now okay, not by a great deal, but it is noticeable. Now you can adjust the focus on the RT to improve the sight picture while in 12 mag. But do you really want to be constantly fiddling with the unit? 
Now, the downside I found using the doubler on the XT was sometimes I would lose zero. I had a zero shift. Uh, nine times out of ten, the doubler worked fine on the XT. But on the odd occasion, my zero did move out by a good few mil. Uh, not good. Now, that equates to a wounded rabbit or fox. So the slight pixelation on the RT at 12 meg is, for me, fine. It works, old zero, and I'm confident in taking those long shots. Now, using the digital zoom on the RT is okay. Not complicated, but not really simple either. I found while your hand is using the controller button on top of the RT, pressing the button, cycling between contrast, IR light, on, off, then finally selecting 12 meg zoom, I found I am taking my eye off the intended quarry. Now, okay, it's easy while hunting rabbits, uh, oblivious to your presence, but factoring a moving target, uh, let's say a fox, and you're squeaking him in, all the while you're pressing buttons, selecting the 12 zoom, taking your eyes off the quarry. I think it's a clumsy way of adjusting the zoom, to be honest. Now, why we couldn't have a simple push button for the zoom? One press and it takes you from 6 to 12 times mag in a simple press of a button. I do not know. Would have made the unit more easier to use. Now, even while hunting these very rabbits, I accidentally selected IR on in the menu when all I wanted was to change the magnification to 12. And also comparing the standard 6 mag sight picture on the XT and RT, I personally found both units equal i've heard in other video reviews the sight picture on the rt improved over the xt etc etc well to my tired old eyes both unit sight picture is identical at six meg there is the hunting footage using the rt zeroed that afternoon the rt fitted with the sports match i think it's atp 66 mounts now they are an adjustable mount now, if you pick either the XT or RT, you're probably going to need the adjustable mounts. You can shim the photons, but with adjustable mounts, not only can you adjust elevation, but you can adjust windage too. So, first outing with the RT, playing about with the functions. Now, while I am cycling through the functions on the RT, while I'm recording, you don't see them on playback. Now, the RT image will focus and blur. Like I said, I'm just getting the feel of the controls. Now, all rabbits which were dispatched on this night are in the 50-yard mark. Now, the first two rabbits taken, I set the RT's magnification to 12 times. That's slight pixelation, as you can see. And nice, clean dispatches. No zero shift on double magnification. Now what I did find using the RT's focus ring was it was so precise, unlike the XT's more forgiving focus. Uh, where turning the focus ring on the XT it allowed a larger area of focusing, whereas the RT's focus ring, a slight turn, so you're focusing the image, then blurring the image. So I had a tendency of seesawing the focus on the RT. The XT was more forgiving, I found. So with the RT, don't be heavy-handed. Now, just to mention the shadow you may see, sometimes see at the top right of the corner of the sight picture, is my fat finger getting in the way of the IR light while I'm adjusting certain functions on the RT. It's my fat hands. On this particular night, I wasn't really intending on taking a big bag of rabbits. Just a quick test on the Photon RT, looking at the sight picture and just how all the options basically work. 
Now this fella coming towards me, he took a turn to his left, so I decided to let him be. I probably would have missed anyway. So in finally summing up, we have seen both units in operation. To my eyes, both sight pictures on the XT and RT, 6 mag is identical. Now the XT doubler fitted picture is sharp and clear, but you can get zero shift using the slip on doublers. Now the RT at 12 mag sight picture does pixelate, not by a great deal, and you can further make the image clearer by adjusting the focus on the RT but it won't lose zero like the doubler fitted XT. So deciding between these two units, at least for me, comes down to two things. You have an XT, like me, but love to record those shots. Occasionally use 12 mag zoom. So factoring the price of buying the MPR recorder to attach to the XT, you have the trailing wires that come with it. From day one, I had trouble with the wires supplied with the Yukon MPR constantly losing signal, accidentally pulling their wires out of the unit while climbing gates, etc. out in the field. So the onboard recording on the RT is a godsend for me. No cables, simply push a button and you're recording. Onboard memory is 8GB, so plenty of room. Then, if you want a little more magnification on the XT, you have to factor in the price of the slip-on doubler. Not all users, may I add you can run the risk of losing zero. I did it on a few occasions and I blamed the doubler. Before I fitted the doubler to my XT, it held zero every time. I only ran into zero shift problems after fitting the doubler. So, if you love recording and the extra magnification, the RT would be a possible more cheaper option over the XT. And if you're into streaming your footage, again, the RT fits the bill for that. Me personally, with the streaming option, I think it's kind of a novelty. I will never use it. You can stream to your phone, YouTube, but seriously, when I'm out in the field, I really don't need that crap. Pointless to me. Okay, record it, edit it, make the video, but live streaming, not for me. Now, on the other hand, if you're not into recording, you hit some misses. Go for the Yukon XT. Picture quality to me is identical to the RT. And even fitted the slip on doubler to the XT, get more magnification, it's still more cheaper option over the RT. But do bear in mind the possible zero shift you can encounter in using doublers. So, for me at least, I will be updating my XT for the RT. Onboard recording and the 12 mag zoom I will use occasionally sold it to me. Gone is my MPR recorder with its crappy wires. Also gone is my sometimes unreliable slip on doubler. Now the RT for me is a more compact unit. So if you're a prospective buyer, do check out both units. Weigh the pros and cons up, don't write off the XT for its shinier, newer brother. And if you're already an XT user, look at what you want from the unit. Recording, 12 mag zoom, and the stream vision gimmick may just swing it for you. So, that's about it, chaps. Do stay tuned. There will be more RT Hudson pest control videos coming up in future on the channel. So, until then, catch you later.